Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we are going to be making a very adorable Easter Bunny pillow that has a farmhouse flair to it. It's so cute. I'm really excited, so let's get started. So let's get started on the pillow. I have this heavyweight canvas pillow cover that we are going to alter. I've had this for a while, but I also found some inexpensive ones that you could also use off of Amazon, and I'll put the link for that below. And it has a zipper. It's a little bit lighter weight than this one, so I may try to find a heavier duty alternative on Amazon as well, just so you have that as an option. You could make a pillow cover from canvas or drop cloth and that would work really great as well and what we're going to do is we're going to start out by folding it in half so we can find center this is a little trick that i always use to always find center and then we're going to take a straight pin and we're going to pin it just to mark we're actually not going to leave the pins in it's just so we know where our center is and I've marked both the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna take some painter's tape because we are actually gonna paint some stripes on this pillow and we're gonna line it up and try to find center of the painter's tape with the center of the pillow and tape from top to bottom. And you might wanna do the backside as well. I'm going to, but you don't have to, that's optional to you. But I think the idea of the stripe going all the way around makes sense. So we're gonna tape that off. So I'm going to be using some chalk paint to paint on this pillow. And I debated back and forth between Waverly Celery and Waverly Moss. Both of them are very beautiful, muted green. One's a little bit lighter and one's a little bit darker. And ultimately, I think I'm gonna go with the moss just so that it's a little higher contrast. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really kind of like the celery, so we'll see what happens in the end, but I, I, I think I'm gonna go with the moss. But you could pick whatever color matches your decor. I thought about doing like a navy blue. I thought about doing several other colors. I think green often acts as a neutral, so it can go into a lot of different types of decor. So that's why I am selecting the green. So I hope you can follow me along on this process. I start out by taking some regular blue painters tape and making a stripe right down the center of the cover Making sure I go on both sides all the way around Then I take some washi tape and tape on either side of that center blue painters tape Then I do a second stripe of washi tape right next to the first one Unfortunately, the washi tape didn't really want to stick to my canvas pillow cover But that's what I had on hand and I knew that I could still make it work I just need to be a little bit more careful and while we're talking about the pillow cover <laughs> I totally should have ironed it beforehand that was a mistake on my end but I it still ended up working out fine in the end but I probably should have ironed that now that we have the tape on either side of the original blue painters tape in the center we can remove the center piece and move it to the outside of the washi tape I hope this is making sense. <laughs> if you watch what I'm doing, I'm hoping that that will help you. What we're trying to do here is create a French stripe. Then we remove the second stripe that is just next to where we pl just placed the painter's tape. Then we can take that piece and move it onto the opposite side and repeat the process until we have one wide stripe in the center and two smaller stripes on either side. Then try to push down the tape as firmly to the fabric as you can get it. Again, my washi tape really didn't wanna stick, so I had to be strategic about how I went about painting it. But now it's time to paint and I ended up going with the Waverly Moss chalk paint color. I started by painting straight down or away from the edges of the painter tape, not towards it. Once you get one side all painted, then you're gonna allow that to dry and then flip it over and repeat the process. 
in between this I just take the aluminum foil that I had my paint on and wrap it around my brush to keep it wet for the short time that it took to dry this worked out fine for me once it's dried then you can remove the painters tape and you will end up with this Before I get any further, this is a part of collaboration with my good friend Heidi Sonball for her Easter DIY challenge. If you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely want to go and do so. She is so talented and she's just recently started a brand new channel called Heidi Sonball Home. I'm going to put both links in the description box below as well as the playlist. So I hope you go check that out. So while this is drying, we're going to work on the next layer of this pillow. So I wanted to create a layered look. So I'm going to be doing this next layer with a vinyl iron iron adhesive with my Cricut machine. If you don't have a Cricut machine, don't worry. I've got you covered in the next step. I'll let you know how we're going to overcome this step for you. I just like the idea of layering it and I think that the vinyl will be a little easier for me in the long run. So I went into Cricut Design Studio and I designed my lettering and it says Happy Easter in French and then another French saying that I don't really know what it means. But it's an Easter saying and if you know how to speak French then hopefully you can interpret it for the rest of us. But. I can't even pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it on my Cricut Explore Air 2. And I am just using gray vinyl. If you do have a Cricut machine, I'm going to provide a link to the file that's already ready to go in the description box below. And you can click on that and just go ahead and hit make it. And you don't have to redo anything. Once you get your vinyl cut, go ahead and weed it. I don't know why, but I really love doing this. If you don't have a vinyl cutting machine, here's how you're going to do the lettering. I provided a printable here that you can just print out and then I would take a piece of graphite paper like so and put it behind and then you'll lay it on your pillow and then trace it out and then the image will be on your pillow kind of in a pencil format and then I would take a gray paint pen or even just some craft paint and hand paint it on your pillow and just add to the layering that way. So you can definitely get this look without having a vinyl cutter. That's how you're gonna do it. Now we need a cute little Easter bunny to kind of complete the look. And I've purchased this Jolie's Boutique transfer sheets. It comes with some for light fabric and some for dark fabric. Since we're using canvas, I've decided to go with the light fabric one. And all you're gonna do is I have a free printable and I'll put the link for this as well as the printable in the description box below. And I've got this cute little guy. Isn't he so cute? Anyway, so you're going to just print this out on the transfer paper. Then you're going to want to cut out your bunny. And once you're done cutting out your bunny in as much detail as possible, now it's time to add the fun stuff. But a couple things that I've learned, I think that if I were to do this again, I would have gone with a lighter. I do like this, but I think that the lighter one would have worked a little bit better. Now we're gonna attach our vinyl and our printable bunny. This is where it gets really exciting. Okay, so we've got our vinyl. We gotta wait a few more seconds for our easy press to finish warming up. Now, if you don't have an easy press, you can easily just use a hot iron. And it sounds like our easy press is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up our surface for 15 seconds before we apply it. So we're gonna just kind of press down 15 seconds and make sure your paint is really dried at this point. I think it will be okay. Okay, so that's been 15 seconds. We're gonna take our iron on and line it up. I am just eyeballing it to be honest with you. So this is nice and hot. You can see the steam coming off of it. I don't know if that's good or not. So after warming it up, you're going to press it at 340 degrees for 40 seconds, allowing it to cool mostly, but not all the way before removing the clear protective layer. Next, we're gonna pull off the backing of the bunny, being very careful to not stretch it out on the edges. Then we're going to cover it all up just so it doesn't stick to anything. I'm sure it's probably fine. And then we're gonna repeat the same process as we did for the lettering. I am 
so happy with how our cute little Easter bunny pillow turned out. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And until next time to all my DIY Niners, bye.